trying to do as we, we try to come as we are. Do our own will. You know what I'm saying? No, you got to start. Cause, give me the book of 1 John 5 and 3. Because we got to understand how to love God. Now let me ask you, how do we love God, brother? Uh, start by thinking about what he's gifted to you. Okay. That's all right, the book of the answer, but we're going to get the real answer. Let's find out why. Go ahead and just read. 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God. Oh, now God is telling us how to we love him. How do we show him love now? We can't give him a hug, brother. So he's about to tell you how to love you. Go ahead and read it. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his, his commandments. commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. In the book of Romans chapter 7, verse 12, while we at it. So keeping the commandments is showing how we love God. See what I'm saying? Keep the commandments is how we love God, brother. Go ahead and read it. This is the book of Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy. The laws of God is holy, brother. They set apart because we are set up our people. Go ahead. And the commandment holy. The commandment is also holy. And just and good. They're just and they're good. Proverbs 7 and 2. These are the things that this is how we please the Lord. If you truly want to come back to him, brother, and save your soul for the fire that's coming, our generation, you're going to hearken. If not, hey, the lake of fire be waiting on you. I hate to say that to our people, but that's what it is. Book of Proverbs. Chapter 7, verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. No, keep my commandments and die. Keep my commandments and live. Most of our people are in a dead state, brother. They smoke weed. They, they got whore mongering on their mind. Right. They got stealing on their mind. Right. Manipulating people to get something with right. they on their mind. They're in a dead state. But God said what? Keep my commandments and live. What else, Ock? And my law. And his what? And my law. As the apple of thine eye. So when we keep God's laws, such commandments, that's the apple of his eye. That's how we please him. You got children, King? Okay, okay, all praises. How old is she if your mommy asked you? Okay, so she ain't old enough. All right, now check this out. If your daughter, just, just saying, if your daughter get old, right, get old, older, uh, uh, about nine, eight, nine, and she start beating up all the kids, keep getting suspended from school, making your life hell, is you going to chastise her or you going to let her do it? That's what God doing to us as a people. Right. We broke his law, such commandments. He gave us a duty to keep, look, keep the law, such commandments. We say, no, I don't want to do that. Now we went into punishment. Right. Now we live in the ghetto. Right. That's why. A lot of times, brother, we don't even know we're in the punishment by the Lord. Right. We don't even know. <laughs> hey, just might be the chosen, uh, Lord willing. Uh, you see that? Uh, All praises. We can feel it. You know what I'm saying? Because if we've God's chosen people, even in the book of Second Ezra, I'm gonna go straight to the point. Second Ezra 654. Now and it's gonna infuriate the righteous from the wicked. It's gonna let you know who God really loves, brother. You know what I'm saying? Do God love all people, all races? Okay, well, let's read it. Let's see. Go ahead and read. Book of Second Ezra, chapter six, verse fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Now we all come from Adam. We know about Adam and Eve, right? We all come from Adam, right? Go ahead. Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. He chose Jacob, all twelve tribes. He chose Jacob. Go ahead. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou hast made the world for our sins. This whole world was recreated for these children. Right. That's why the earth is here today, because of them. Go ahead. As for the other people. Now, as for the other people, anybody outside of the 12 tribes, that's your Caucasians, that's your Chinese, your Japanese, your Arabs, East Indians, and so on. Go ahead. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, Thou hast said that they are nothing. Hold on, what did he say? That they are nothing. But be like unto what? But be like unto spittle. You know that nice little honker that irritates you that you spit out? That's how God said to other nations. That's how he said they are. That's how he feels about them. You know, your good neighborhood white man. You know, when like you like to chop it up and put the application for them, hope that they hire you. That's how they feel about us. That's how they feel about us. Right. We, look. Look, man, God don't like them because they don't like us. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, no, God does not like everybody. He right. only loves his children. That's right. 
Now, okay, you adopt, you got your one-year-old, you would just say you adopt another one-year-old so they could grow up together. You think you're going to love your child more than the other? Be honest now. About me. Let's be, let's, in general, check it, no, uh, no, in check general. it out, in general. in general. Is you going to love another child that you just brought in, yeah, you're going to love them, yeah. but is you going to love that child more Boy, than your, man. your, yeah. So, okay, two hanging off the cliff. Okay, let's get deep. Two hanging off the cliff. You got two arms. Both arms is wibbling. You got, you about to let them both go. You got to choose. You're going to choose the one that you adopted or you're going to choose yours. Let's be real. Come on, make it real for you. There you go. There you go, brother. You see what I'm saying? And this is how the other the nations, they adopted children. God love us. He don't love them more than he love us. He love us first. You see what I'm saying? So we got to understand that. So read that straight through from the top. Book of 2nd Edmonds, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou hast made Lord of all creatures, of him come we all, and the people also, whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou hast made the world for our sakes. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Now he's about to get deep. Here's the point. Go ahead and read. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, these heathen, a heathen is a nation outside of Israel, the heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, that always had a reputation of nothing, have begun to be lords over us. Now we up under them and they ruling over us. Now they lords over us. And to devour us. And they devouring us. See that? This is your history. This is your heritage, brother. Uh -huh. God love us, brother. We are the chosen. Right. And let's make it clean. Let's make it clear for you. you know, uh, Malachi 1 and 2. Malachi 1 and 2. Now, we, now Esau is the Caucasian man. It's, it's not just our names they change. They change their own names so we won't find out who we are and won't find out who they are. You see what I'm saying? They change every name, brother. Even the land. The names of the land, too. This is arsenal. When you read about this land in the Bible, it's arsenal. Not America, not United States, not USA. Right. Arsenal. Right. Go ahead and read. Book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau. So God said he loved Jacob. Our forefather Jacob had 12 kid children. That's where you get the 12 tribes from. He said, I love Jacob and I hated Esau. Esau is a Caucasian. Right. You see that, brother? And he don't just hate them. He don't just, it ain't just Esau he hate. He hate all the other nations. He right. said they like spittle. All right. You see what I'm saying? So, it's to sound like. Oh. It's been a war between them and us, the heathen and the troll tribes, and it's also going to be a war that's, that's coming back. Our Lord coming back. Who do you think coming back for? Everybody? Or, or his people? There you go. Let's just say again, I did 25 years, right? I got my adopted child, and I got my, my birth my child. <laughs> Who do you think I want, I want to see first when I get out? There you go. He's coming to see us, brother. But we got to be on his good side by doing his father's law, statute, and commandments. Right. The children that's not doing his father's law, statute, and commandments is going to lick a fire. That's right. What's that? I said, hey, I don't want to see it. Yeah. It's, it's fire. It's gnashing the teeth and fire. And that's real, brother. He's not playing. You you got to understand, we don't know our God. That's why we sit there and sin. That's why nobody wants to repent because we don't know him. It is, it's not. Because, but the thing is, we don't know our God. But just the kick. We don't want to know him. You see what I'm saying? We don't, right. The people that want to know him, they looking for the truth. They're going to find it. But the ones that don't, they're not going to find it, brother. Right, right, right. You got brothers brothers that push the truth on brothers. Them brothers most likely 
nine, nine times out of ten, those brothers fall out. But the brothers that come sincere, looking for the Lord, always been looking new, know that they was missing something. When they found it, they completed. A lot of our people walking around not knowing why we're here, brother, because we're not completed. Why do we, do we just exist just to be punished? You see that? Right. Now, let's, I'm going to read, we're going to read the kingdom. Let's read the good stuff for the Bible. Because God, is, it's a lot of bad stuff in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Let's read about the good stuff if we make it. Okay? Uh, Revelation 21 and 12. Because it's about to start out here. About to start to fill drops. Book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. Now, this is another reason to let you know if everybody going to make it in the kingdom of heaven. Do everybody got a chance or a shot? Go ahead and read and had a wall great and high. So the kingdom of heaven got a wall is great and high. And had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. Kingdom of heaven got 12 gates. Go ahead. And at the gates, 12 angels. There's 12 angels guarding the gates of heaven like bouncers. Go ahead. And names written thereon. Now, is names written on the gates of heaven, brother? How many gates are there? 12. 12. And there's names written on the gates of heaven, which are what? Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's the gates of heaven. Where are the other nations gay at, brother? I mean, I'm just, I scratch my head. Where are the other nations gay at? Uh. There's only 12 gates, 12 angels guarding the gates with 12 names written on the gates and all the names of the 12 tribes of the house of Israel. Where are the other nations gay at? They ain't going. They ain't going. That's right. they ain't going. That's right. Now, they're going to be in there with us because they're going to be cleaving. Isaiah 14.1. Let's see what they're going to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Let's find out. The Bible, it gets deep and it's, it paints a clear picture for our people. If we come back to it, go ahead and read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, from the top. Oh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. He's going to set us in our own land when he come back. We ain't got a land to go to. Where's our homeland? Wherever we at, right? And we don't own a damn thing in it. We got like 2% of our people that own something. They, they in the sport games or singing or rapping. You know what I'm saying? But we said when he come back, the Lord come back, going to put us in our own land, brother. Go ahead. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers of the other nations, the heathen, they're going to be joined with us. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave to us. They're going to, yes, the master, what can I do for you, master? Is that enough for you, master? You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. We're going to take the other nations to bring them to our land, our place, the same way they brought us over here to America, the rest of the world, the rest of the rest of the world. Go ahead. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. The house of, the, the house of Israel shall possess them. That's your cup. That's your possession. It ain't mine. I can't take it because it's yours. The other nations going to be our possessions. Did you hear that? We're going to possess them, and it's said in the land of the Lord, because the Lord is going to be here with us. That's right. Go ahead. For servants and handmaids. Here we go. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. We was held captive up under them. They're going to be held captive up under us. Now, is that just? That only makes it right. Did you go? We, we all know that God is just, but when the church people say God is just, that means, yes, Forget about our history with all they did to us. They still, we all going to live happily ever after in the kingdom. You see that? That's not justice, brother. That's still unfair. You see what I'm saying? You got any questions, brother? How do you feel about hearing the truth for the first time? Uh, definitely like they heard it all. All, all praises. praises. All you got to do is come back to that book. Uh -huh. This is a YouTube channel. WFI Pittsburgh. Uh -huh. You type that in, brother. Videos just come up. And you'll be able to further edify and learn about your God, brother. All right. All right. What's your name, King? Uh, Tom. Tom. Good to meet you, King. Good to meet you, King. All I'm praise somebody. the Most High. Uh, all praise to the Most High. So with that, we want to give all glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Barak Thumb. All glory and praises to our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. With that said, Shalom. Shalom.